My name is Gwen Whitaker. I'm the owner of the Green Fair Cafe and the CEO for the Green Fair Health and Wellness nonprofit. Because the restaurant had been focused on education, the nonprofit was a logical extension to do really a deep dive around specific health issues that people had and focusing on the impact of nutrition and education. The first project that we've been working on is this case study on type 2 diabetes and African Americans. I'm Titus Unlimited. He was having a discussion with Gwen Whitaker and it was about reversing diabetes with a plant-based diet. I was intrigued, you know, um, my goal is to um, get to a point where I don't have to be on medication anymore. You know, to, to be healthier, but specifically um, with, you know, losing weight, and of course that, that always helps, but to um, stabilize my blood sugar, because I'm on a path of getting it under control where it was previously way out of control. I was first diagnosed as a diabetic back in 2000. Good and bad. I mean, there's times when it's it's been under control and times when it hasn't been. My father was a type, uh, he was diagnosed with um, type 2 diabetes. At the time, he should have retired at 65 years old. He held on for as much as he could. I'm 60 years old now. And the, the doctor gave me a reality check and told me, again, my A1C numbers were trending upward. And uh, my best friend who introduced me to this case study, uh, it just fell into my lap and I couldn't afford to not be a part of this case study. Whatever I could do to learn about the d diabetes, you know, um, lower my blood pressure, you know, reducing my cholesterol, I would love to learn about it so that I can remove myself from medication and live a more healthier life. I had just gotten blood work back that said that I was pre-diabetic and I also have high blood pressure and I've had high blood pressure for 37 years. I'm 69 years old now. So no men in my family have lived past 56, usually dying of, of, uh, of heart related stuff. I got myself checked out and found that I, that I, I was uh, diabetic. I have high blood pressure, I have type 2 diabetes. I have now uh, some kidney problems that have just been uh, diagnosed. Uh, a lack of uh, kidney function or loss of kidney function. And I'm hoping that uh, diet can be a help to uh, reverse some of these issues. Never ever had a doctor recommend getting off the meds. If anything, they progress toward more meds. Generally, they will, they will say lifestyle changes, diet and exercise help, but there's no guidance associated with that. I've tried various things in the past, mainly to lose weight. That's not my issue now. But this is the first, uh, the first plant-based diet. I'm the dietitian and the chef for Green Fair. The program is 28 days. So all participants receive three meals per day plus uh, a fruit per day. So this pickup is spaghetti putanesca, black bean chili. You use just organic ingredients, all made SOS. SOS is the uh, short for salt, oil, and sugar-free. So they are all plant-based, low-fat meals. You don't use any kind of oil or oil substitution in the meals, and also sugar-free. Not sugar-free in the terms of uh, the food is free of sugar. You don't add any processed sugar.
133 over 72. Okay. One important is how you feel. I feel good. At Green Fair with the restaurant, we're pairing not only the classes, but we're pairing it with food. One of the changes that happened with COVID-19 was moving classes inside the restaurant onto the Zoom platform. And each uh, class has usually fairly small components of videos that we're watching. We have dialogue between the videos. And then Pericles actually does some cooking demonstrations. I'm a little lighter in my shoes these days. Not just the weight, but just the way I feel physically, yeah. I probably dropped 11 pounds. My resting heart rate's dropped down. Uh, all my numbers went down. I think that my numbers overall, not just looking at the A1C, are all better. I had a, an appointment with my doctor on Wednesday, three days ago, uh, and he said, you're a new man. I actually feel great. I mean, I have so much more energy. I sleep better at night. I was able to meet my personal, you know, goals. Um, cholesterol dropped by 50%. My A1C is down, and uh, I'm excited to go to my doctor uh, and, you know, show her what I'm working with. Well, the last time I was at my doctor's, she did my blood work over, and she told me that she could, yeah, she said she could take me off. The blood pressure, I can see, you know, it came down. But the biggest thing for me, it was getting my A1C under control because I've been working on it. And I mean, it was on a downward trend anyway, but I could tell that this made a big difference. My diastolic number, the bottom number, was in the 70s. And that's something that has never happened to me in the last 30, 35 years or so. And I've been on all kinds of blood pressure medicine, and none of that medicine has done that for me. If you're doing this good for your body and your digestive system, I think there's a tendency to want to try to do other things as well. So I've been either biking for an hour or walking for a minimum half hour or 40 minutes every day and meditating. Now I find myself after exercising for 30 minutes, I want to push myself. I want to push myself. I'm, I'm like, okay, I haven't challenged myself enough to get winded or feel like I'm pooped. Whereas before, I'm, I'm struggling, you know. The results have spoken for themselves. And you, you can't argue with the science or what the numbers say. I don't know any other way to do it other than from the things that I've read is to remove animal fats from your body, you know? So that's, that's, that's just gonna be my focus. I, I'm like anybody else that grew up in, in uh, that's in my age group, that's African-American. I used to eat, I used to love pork chop, fried chicken. We are literally, literally killing ourselves with food. and there, is no food worth dying for. The African, the traditional African-American diet is designed to give you diabetes if you are inclined to have it uh, then you'll probably get it on the African-American diet. The downside of having diabetes and high blood pressure and all the things that I was dealing with is that it drags you down health-wise. Um, it it um, infects your spirit uh, mentally, physically. Uh, uh, I feel my um, I don't want to say existence, but uh, quality of life got better. I'd say go ahead and give it a try. Give it a try. Um, you don't have anything to lose. The benefits are, are documented everywhere. Um, 
and you'd be surprised at how your body adapts and how you feel. And uh, I, I think it's a good thing. And it's, you, you cannot argue with the number. You can't argue with the science.